<sighs> You've all read the title. You've all seen the whiteboard. We're talking about penis today. Ancient Rome's obsession with penis. Aren't you glad you clicked on this video? If we travel back in time 2,000 years ago, we may find that the ancient Romans weren't so dissimilar to you and I. I'm sure in school, we've all graffitied magnificent members on our friends' books because it was funny and this weird S symbol that everyone knew about for some reason. In similar fashion to us, the ancient Romans also had somewhat of a phallus fascination. When the excavations began at the ancient city of Pompeii, it turned out to be full of the Sausage Supper. There were so many of these floppers littered around the city in forms of artwork that English antiquarian Richard Payne Knight thought there was an ancient fertility cult going on there. One of the most fantastic drawings found is this work of Priapus, the Greek god of fertility and gardens, who is weighing his gigantic big boy on a set of scales. You could split someone in half with that thing. The artwork of these magnificent members would be present on the walls and floors of the city, as well as bronze wangs hung in the doorways and gardens. The erotic decorations, which was called Tintinabula, has been discovered throughout Rome and were used to invoke the protective power of the god Fascinus, with the charms being called Fascinium. Phallic charms could appear as objects of jewellery, lamps and wind chimes, and they would be worn or hung up to ward off evil and battle sickness. The sexual energy of these penis charms would protect the wearer from the evil eye, which was a superstitious belief about being cursed. The direction of the peepee on these charms was designed to be facing outward in order to face any potential danger or bad luck before it could affect the wearer. The symbol of the penis effectively fought off evil, which is why these charms and graffiti on the walls were so common in ancient Rome. Because the devil is renowned for being scared of male peckers. In ancient Rome, the beauty of the male form was more celebrated than in today's world, and same-sex attraction was considered natural to them. Freeborn males could have sex with slaves, but only if the master was the penetrator. To be penetrated as a freeborn male was symbolically a failure of power on his part. In Roman war, rape was used as a tool of dominance. The penalty for a soldier who took the receptive role during sex was the same punishment as desertion execution. The shaft was so associated with power that generals often wore it as a symbol of war to protect him from evil and have good luck in the battles to come. So humans haven't changed that much from 2000 years ago, with the Johnson being an iconic symbol of power and fertility, and also graffitiing it on walls and your friends school books is kind of funny. So thank you for watching day 15 of our advent calendar everyone, I'm sure no one's actually made it this far in a video of me talking about ancient Romans obsession with penis, but if you have, thank you. Join us tomorrow, we cover Australia's war with emus. You've probably all heard the story before, but not from me. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that, and I'll see you all then, peace.